It has been a long, long time since the last time I published any contents at all on this channel. But today, you know, just a quick startup again. We're gonna have a look at a Casio watch, which I believe I already featured before. This is the Casio Landfarer. Interesting looking watch. Very, very unique, different, very 90-ish. This is called the MW43. Now, what's cool about this thing? Well, there's quite a lot actually, but start with the obvious one. It's the fact that it has this really unique asymmetrical design. Well, look at the imbalance of it. And this is literally a hinge, just the size of this thing. And that allowed this watch to do this. So this is the actual watch. Basically, you have the back plate stainless steel with this Casio Sign 796 movement MW43. Stainless steel, water resistant to five bar as stated on the face dial and assembled in Malaysia P. So I'm not sure when this watch was made because there's so little information about this thing but since it was assembled in Malaysia so I was assuming that this watch were produced somewhere before the year 1995 or 1994 if I'm not mistaken. So this watch is oh, making it like well three decades old to be exact and believe it or not it is still working just fine. It operates on 916 uh, lithium-ion battery, which is very cheap. All you have to do is unlock this thing, which I already did. Just swap the battery like that. You don't need to perform any AC operation whatsoever. And you can set up the time using this, well, crown at a trick clock position. Just pull it up and rotate the minute and the hour. Just like that. There's no date indicator at all here, but you do have 24 hour time format. And believe it or not, all of these indices there could close in the dark. However, due to its age, of course, it's not gonna be as good, but it still work. Except for the moving second hands there. I mean, the only part that you could see that could glow in the dark is the end part of it, the circular thingy, the counterbalance, the rest of it is not visible. Due to its age, I'm gonna give it a pass. No problem whatsoever. One thing that makes it incredibly good is that the design itself really shops G-Shock or Pro Track in that matter, where this is in my opinion perhaps way way back before Casio ProTrack was a thing. Anyway, back to this thing. If you look closely, it has four studs at the front there. This is pretty much like every G-Shock watch. So really interesting design in here, guys. Also the massive, the bulkiness part of this thing really shouts G-Shock design language. And that's what I like a lot as well. You can see Landfarer's sign in the face dial. So if you look it up on Google, you'll find another version of this called Pathfinder. Also, there's another version, I'm not, I'm not sure the name, but it looked like a frogman, so it's kind of cool to see that. Also, same movement, same functionality, just different design. You know, just like G-Shock, where they always uh, share the same movement, but just redesign the body. Anyway, other thing that makes this watch cool is, again, like we showed just now, is this compass. This is now not battery operated whatsoever, just a standard static compass, you know, like one of those uh, attachments you could buy to plug in on your strap, like 50 cents, maybe less than that. It's just that nothing much going on here but due to its I don't know built the material let's see now if I have an example <laughs> not the bad example but hey it has digital compass inside of it like that it is pointing to the north direction down here let me put it on a flat surface you can see that this part still point in the right direction as well there we go right well not entirely accurate but you could see that move look at that all right, so the precision is still in here despite being already like three decades old in the market. And also I love the hands that is bluish, really, really nice. And also the fact that this entire thing is transparent. I feels like this is acrylic, might be wrong on that, but the print is still nice. This part also could be rotated just in case you wanna, you know, mark things up as a bearing reader. And because it is transparent, you could put it on a map or whatever surface and still read the direction, which is really, really cool. Something that we cannot do on modern Casio G-Shock. Here's that. Also, notice this hinge. Despite being this age, you can see that it is still holding up really well. Look at that. I 
be used like that. You could even use this part as also another version of a, of a compass, you know, point to different direction and whatnot if you're uh, that good with your compass reading ability, which is I'm not, so <laughs> obviously I'm not. All right. Anyway, let me go down this to show you guys how this thing fits. This is not the original strap, of course. The one, the original one's already broken, like, well, due to its age, of course. You can look it up on Google Image, you'll find quite a few photos of this same watch with different kind of strap, which, if I'm not mistaken, have the same exact design as this hinge here, but on the strap, which really, really cool, really shouts G-Shock design language in it. Anyway, now that I put it on wrist, you can see the size is quite big, right? If you compare this to other Casio watch, look at that. Even though it look big, but it is pretty much standard for a much more popular options. Uh, look at that. For a Casio, I will compare this watch uh, size to other uh, G-Shock that I have, or even other Casio that I have, just so you have a rough idea of how big this thing is. But regardless, it's not the point. This watch is so cool to have, and the fact that it is still working, I mean, it, this is Shao's quality. Even though, if you actually hold it on hand, you can feel that this plastic, it feels cheap. It's not the same like you find the same uh, resin material out of a G-Shock watch. Just, I have to say that, not. It's much, much lower quality, but, well, as you can see, it still lasts, so let's say something, right? And all of that combined, I do think this watch is really, really cool, and if you have a chance, if you find them out there at an affordable price, I would highly recommend you to check it out. Alright, that's it. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one.